Good Sunday morning everybody. Coffee? Coffee? Let's see what the day brings. Okay, first things first, I've got loads of editing to do for yesterday where Michelle got her hands dirty and fixed our car for us. Well done. Michelle is going to chill whilst listening to classical music. Whilst I sit on the PC editing. Guys, slight change in plan. It's getting on to 12 o'clock now, and I've spent the last couple of hours editing, and I've still probably got another couple of hours editing uh, yesterday's vlog. It's uh, a lot of cuts, that's what's making it difficult. But I'm going to take a break now and watch the Watford v Man United game where Michelle sits there all wrapped up reading the secrets of. Is it Critchley Hall, that? Yeah, so she's still reading that week, Amanda. Mm. We may go out a little bit later, just to get a bit of cobwebs out the head. We've no plans to do too much. We did a reasonable amount. Might do something later on tonight, we'll figure it out. But in the meantime, we're going to watch the football and then do a bit more editing. Okay, I'm going to stop that before I get done for copyright. But there is Michelle. There's me standing like a semi teapot. I'd be standing like a teapot. It went for the fact my hand is holding this. And that's Michelle sharing her music. Marilyn Manson? That one actually is, yes. Yeah, see, I've got one right. Yay, go me. I think they all. I'm creating a bad mood playlist. A bad mood playlist so you can come out of work and make yourself really depressed. Are you going to play no. it before you go to work? Believe it or not, this actually makes me feel better. So this is your playlist for when you come in. What? Yeah. See, you know when I said about these uh, television programs that we're watching about women that kill? Have you never, um, have you ever had a bad day and a song yes. comes on and, well yeah. And a song comes on the radio and you crank it up and you shout along with the lyrics and you feel better afterwards. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, I think yeah, I know I, what you mean. I, 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 under, make I understand why you're looking at me like I'm a bit mad though. I'm, uh, I actually do that as well. There are certain songs that come on. Like everybody, there are certain songs that come on that everybody enjoys. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's, well, yeah, I do enjoy them. I mean, it's my kind of music, so. Yes. See, that's why I went upstairs and had a shower. Yeah, go me. No, I do. Well, we're actually having a discussion. Me and Michelle's music it does cross over at very slight places. Not often, admittedly. Not often, but it doesn't. You know, it doesn't really matter because everybody's got different tastes. It doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't mean anything. Michelle likes a Marilyn Manson, and what was that German one you were just playing? Oh, Rammstein. Rammstein. Du hast. Du hast. Is that the only song of theirs that you like? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm not a big Rammstein fan. It has to be said, but that one's really good. And I can actually testify for that because when it came on, Michelle says, oh, I've liked this for a while. I wonder what they're saying. I have absolutely no idea what they're saying because it's in German. But so I she Googled it, up, it. I looked it up and it's it's actually really rather benign. It sounds better when I don't know what the words are. So one thing I've got to say, uh, I'm jealous of with Michelle's upbringing, just to my upbringing, was there was no internet. We didn't even have a computer in our house when I was growing up. No, don't feel sorry for me. Don't think I'm that old neither. But he is that old. <laughs> we didn't have computers. But nowadays, if you don't know something, you Google it. You know, how do you think I got a degree? But you've sat there, you've, you're sat there and you're saying, one thing, I, one thing that Michelle had an advantage of growing up over me, but I didn't get the internet until I was nearly a teenager. So I started, nearly a teenager? I was in my 20s. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is a thing. I mean, like I said. I mean, Jesse and Pat. I would never have even heard of Rammstein when I was a teenager, let alone wanted to Google. Don't even Google had been invented at that point. No, I used. To, I, what search engine did you start off with? I use Yahoo. Yahoo. I use Yahoo. You know why I use Yahoo? Because I. No, sorry, I'm telling you why. I use Lycos. No, we used to use Yahoo. I used to use Yahoo. I used Lycos. You know why I used it? Because it had a black dog. I had a Labrador, and I used to have a Labrador at the time. Do you remember Ask Jeeves? Yes, Ask Jeeves, Lycos, Yahoo. Back, back when Hotmail was the thing, 
everybody yeah. had a Hotmail email address. Yeah, and now it's Gmail, and everybody's got Gmail due to the fact that Google own all the other things that Google don't own, <laughs> that Microsoft don't own, and Apple don't own. But yeah, okay, shall we go and have a ride out? We're going to have a walk out, yeah? Sure. We'll go and get some fresh air, it's too nice of a day to stay in, so moving on. Okay guys, we're not going to go too far. Michelle's actually locking the house up now. We're not going to go too far. We're just going to go down to a local um, had, uh, estate, which is Fivey Castle. We have a water in the gardens and the big house. Sorry, I just got distracted Ask asked Michelle for something and she said no anyway. Uh, we'll have a ride down to the local castle. So, come for a drive through the countryside. Okay guys, as you might have seen, there was obviously an old car rally coming along on the entrance to Fivey Castle and Garden and Estate. Well, we're in, we're going to have a walk around the garden and then we'll have a walk around the lake. And part way down, when I was waiting for all them cars, Michelle said to me, Do you want to use my bad mood music? Because I was getting quite frustrated down at all the cars being ignorant and not letting us get in. Because obviously, you know, everybody thinks they have right away, myself included. Okay, now we're just entering into the garden. We have been here before, we'll have a quick walk around the garden, and then we'll show you around the lake. Okay guys, I was taking photographs then, I almost forgot all about y'all. Here we are basically in the middle of Fiverr Gardens. Then I'll give you a quick panorama of what we can see. guys that's a quick 360 from the centre of Fivey Castle Gardens and Michelle you can see is really enjoying this she didn't want to come in here to be quite honest but I think she's quite impressed now she's coming what are them what are white ones these ones closest ones to us they are kale are they yeah and that's your colour on negro tablo negro that's your curly kale black kale black kale that's your curly kale. These are all Brussels sprouts. Are them petunias? They look like... Orange flowers. They look like marigolds to me. Could be, could be. No, there's some form of bees. I might be right, they might be marigolds. Let us know if you know, because we obviously, as you can see, we're very green-fingered and we haven't a foggy as what they are. Sorry, what do you say? I said these ones I do know, these are black eyed Susans. How do you know that? I just do. I don't know why I do. I think I read it in a book somewhere. I think they mean encouragement. If you give somebody black eyed Susans, it's to encourage them. Possibly. Tune in for more. I read and I know things. Yes, I can't disagree. Michelle does read and she does know things. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see, but all the bees are out. Hopefully I won't get stung. 
All the bees are out on the flowers. Lovely. Hopefully they won't sting me. I'm going to go away now before they do. Okay, I just asked Michelle how she knows all these vegetables and her answer is... They look just like they do in the shop. So, we're getting trouble now. And steel. So you can't eat them. So that was a fail and that was a total act of vandalism. So, total act of vandalism. I just pinched some just raw beans and I can't eat them. Thinking they were peas. Never mind. Moving yeah, on. They're selling windfall apples for a pound a bag. And... It says new potatoes for £1.50, but I have a sneaking suspicion that might be a bit out of date. Where are they? No, some of these are not, they're all apples. Because they're all apples and new potatoes are in the new season. Yeah. So, unless you get new, I don't know, I'm probably wrong with that one. But moving on. Beetroots for a pound. Uh, yellow carrots for a pound. Onions, 50 pence. That's ch is that cheaper than the... Supermarket? No. Oh. I bet the two spare. Okay, and I've also got a red currant gin recipe. Raspberry gin recipe. What's that? Chassis Silver. Cassis. Cassis recipe, which is a black currant brandy. It is. That's a good job to show us here because I couldn't read that. So last time I was here, I walked up to the castle and I showed you around the castle. What I didn't do is come down here, because it started raining, I didn't show you around Fivey Lock. So what we're going to do now is take a little stroll around Fivey Lock. Okay guys, and this is a, a nice little viewpoint, looking over the, the length of Fivey Lock. Now this lock is actually man made. Yeah. The uh what's his name? I've forgotten his name, the guy who owned Castle Fraser actually had this built just because he wanted a pond. Probably it start with fish when he lived here. Yes. One day we'll probably be go <laughs> I'll read up on it and give you tell you what it actually is, but I know that's man made. Uh because when he owned the land he thought, oh I want one of them there lakes like everybody else has. So this is what he built. And it's a good mile or so around it. And he even built himself a bolt house. Though I'm not too sure that was a bolt house because why would you have this leading out here unless the water... It was a bolt house. This whole thing would have been a raft. See that's why I bring Michelle. She knows things. She reads and knows things. There you have a behind the scenes of Michelle taking a photograph of the vlog. Oh, look, ducks. She'll zoom into the ducks. She'll zoom out of the ducks. And we shall continue on our way. Michelle's looking at me like I'm strange. Yeah, there is no zoom on that camera. And here we have the sight of a lesser spotted Alan attempting to drown his GoPro. I think he has to be a bit closer to the water for this to work. success and it appears to still be working first time I've had it wet which is not rude talking about my camera you were the only person that went there you would have gone there later
<laughs> now that was definitely an innocent slip, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Freudian much? Moving on, it's a family vlog. Okay guys, this is at the top of the of the lock. Can you say that for me? Lock. Unfortunately my accent doesn't allow me to say that and everybody at work takes the mickey out of me because of my accent. Because it sounds like door lock when I say it. Lock and lock. Yeah, so lock. Is that it? Lock. Lock. Please don't send me messages telling me how bad it was. I know it's bad. But No, but you do it better than I do. Eh, uh, but so. I speak English. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, there is that. No, you actually speak Mancunian better than I speak Scottish. Well, the half a dozen words that I've picked up. Than us. Than us. Well, here we are. Beautiful view. Lovely day. It's really warm. Muggy. Muggy. Yeah, it's quite humid, actually. You're sweating. As I turn the camera off, Michelle started to insult me. Do you want to repeat them insults? I was just commenting on the fact that Alan said that I speak better Mancunian than he speaks Scottish. And I said that speaking Mancunian wasn't that hard. All you have to do is drop whole letters out of sentences. Or words even. I do, I must... <laughs> or drop whole words out, like the. You guys really hate the. What's a waste of time speaking or putting all them extra words in it? You, you just can't call mine. Which is where it comes from. Uh, don't pit. Working don't pit. Uh, you didn't have time to talk, you had to work. Now, Michelle's actually right. Because from vlog it, <laughs> vlogging, see I've dropped the word again. I've dropped the V in the vlog. <coughs> from vlogging, I actually listen to myself and I think, Oh God, it doesn't sound like that in my head. When I'm speaking, I say every word in my head. But my mouth <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> no, I have long learned to translate Alan into English. Yeah, I do miss whole words out, and I do get picked up a, a lot, but we all have our accents and our traits, don't we? Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Right, guys, something that's not a duck. Zooming in. And zooming out. An ugly duck. Glyn. Okay guys, and from this position here, we've got the loch behind us and looking forward I'm going to zoom in as much as I can I'll also put a photograph up but that is Fivey Castle itself the car just going in front of it so wait till the car has gone then it looks as it would have done hundreds of years ago okay guys I hope you enjoyed that walk around uh, Fivey Loch <laughs> Take two. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Wait. Take three. Take three. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that walk around the uh, Fivey Lake. Uh, we certainly did. Good for the good for us. Now, the one thing I've now noticed, um, I'm in a little bit of pain now. So, I'm going to nip off home and get some painkillers. But it was quite pleasant. Pleasant hour or so, quarter to six in the evening now. We might go and do something a little bit later as well. We'll see how we feel. Because we seem to be in the photographic mood. Yep. Okay, time to get home.
Michelle is now making another one of my favourites chicken curry is it an Indian or a Chinese one you're making? Chinese, I'm using the paste uh, so we're using the Chinese hot and spicy curry sauce that I get from the Chinese supermarket in town and what are you putting in it? Uh, peppers, onions, chicken, paste. I think that'll probably be about it, unless I put some frozen peas in the freezer. Yeah, put frozen veg. And uh, believe me, it is extremely yummy. Bit of a experiment. Me and Michelle are obviously a little bit wrapped up. The reason for this is we it's kind of late summer in the northeast of Scotland, and it's freezing and dark. It's just gone nine o'clock. Now moving on from making that uh, time lapse I did the other night, sorry, that night lapse I did, uh, I did this just at the back of here, and there's a street light just at the back of us. The moon was out, it was very bright. So it kind of didn't show the best. I think we didn't get the best. So what I'm gonna do, or what we're gonna do, is Michelle's gonna take her big camera, an experiment with a telescope and a camera, see what she can do, and I'm going to go and take a night lapse in a dark area. So we we're off to Haddo House to go and sit in the dark, like proper geeks. I haven't got my uh, telescope with me this time. I want to. Just going to set up. Have you got the tripod? Uh, no, I'm just going to use my hand. My hand. It'll be fine. You can't hold it for 20 seconds. Okay. Well, just rest it down. Okay. Well, we're going to see what we can do. Let's see what we can come up with. Just a little bit of a, a night trip to Haddo. Well, probably one of us will probably fall over something and break our legs. But yeah. that torch. Eh, moving on. As you might be able to see out there, the moon is extremely bright, so it's probably not the best night to go out and do this. But uh, whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna be a bit of experimenting. Okay guys, I can't see an absolute anything because I'm shining a torch in my face. Hopefully you can see fireworks me. fireworks going off over there. Probably got that one. Oh, sorry, I got distracted then. Somebody was setting fireworks off. And you can hear scary monsters over there. But it's alright, it's probably a haggis. Uh, what we're doing is I've set up a little bit of a night lapse. I'm going to try and get some of these stars. It's a little bit too bright because we can see the see the moon. And what Michelle's doing is she's brought a large camera and she's going to go and try and get some. So basically she's trying to expand out on her repertoire where she's going to try and take some photographs of the Milky Way. There There's a really scary animal sounding coming from over there. It's prob probably a fox. Okay, moving on. Okay guys, you live you learn. Mistake number one, the moon. It's too bright, can't see anything, not seeing anything. I'll put up the pictures and we'll see if I can pick anything out, see if I can photoshop them up. I don't think I've took long enough of the time lapse to put video up, but I can put pictures up. Uh, Michelle decided she really should have brought her. A tripod you can't hold the camera still long enough and also because we're in the northeast of Scotland it's bloody freezing absolutely <laughs> we've been out just over an hour and oh it's like North Pole <laughs> we know why people from northeast of Scotland seek out sunnier climbs to go on holiday now so that they can sit in the shade all day and moan about the heat yep well with that getting on so I think it's time we went back and give up her. we'll call it a bust and we'll live and learn and we'll figure it out we'll do some proper researching and let's see what what we can do with whether we can turn this into a kind of a feature or something that's entertaining we'll have a look at it show you the results but I don't know don't know if it's going to be entertaining enough but moving on us back from our night out star watching <laughs> wasn't wasn't all that good but we'll I'll put something up tomorrow when I'm editing 
Oh, with that. Yeah, I'm pretty late. I think it's time for bed now. So with that, it's a good night from me. It's a good night from him. Good night. See you all tomorrow.